Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Linz. I'm a blogger based in Vancouver, BC, and I talk everything fashion, hair, and skincare both on YouTube and Instagram. If you're new here, definitely check out my IG. I do a lot more over there, but I'm starting to get more, a lot more consistent on YouTube as well. Today, as per the title, we are reviewing the Il Maquillage Foundation. I've actually already done a short version of this on Instagram. I'll link a little clip here, but I also wanted to offer a longer version just so I can kind of get more thoughts out as I go. Um, I apologize for the wet hair robe situation. I usually like to look cuter for videos, but this is the reality of a content creator who is also a full-time Monday to Friday social media strategist. Very little time, and it's just very hard to balance reels and YouTube, but... I had to get ready today anyways, so I figured I would review the Il Maquillage Foundation with you guys. Before we get started, I just want to send a gentle reminder to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate all the support. Main topics over here, product reviews in fashion, hair, skincare, beauty, a little bit of lifestyle. So if you want to see more of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give me a like as well. Let's get into it. Whew. So background story on Il Maquillage. I started seeing ads for them probably starting in like 2018 and they put in so much into their ads online. So it was like all over social media, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, you name it. There were ads for this foundation and it just showed this flawless match to your skin tone and it just looked like nearly airbrushed. Um, and it looked incredible. So I reached out to see if they would collab with me and they said no So after a couple years, I was like, okay, I just need to know like curiosity just killed me So I ordered it the one thing about this that's amazing is that they offer a full refund if you don't like the product um, under a certain amount of days unfortunately, I Let it go on too long like I just had so many other products I needed to test and I missed that deadline if you already watched my Instagram um, reel on this review, you'll know already that I don't necessarily love it. It was a little bit of a letdown in, in my opinion, but since that reel, I've gotten a little bit more sun, believe it or not, um, and this was too dark for me. So maybe now that a little bit of time has gone on, maybe it'll work out, but I just wanted to provide a longer review. Um, I did the online quiz, so the big thing about Il Maquillage also is that you go online and you do this quiz and it's supposed to give you the best possible foundation match. The one that I got was 060 woke up like this and it's fair. I'm usually on the more fairer skin tones when it comes to foundations. I was surprised this one was a little bit darker. But overall, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely dark for my skin tone and I don't really wear self tan or anything. So I usually like it to really match my neck. So anyways, let's get into the actual application. So the bottle looks like so. It's in this like pretty matte black bottle and it's got a normal pump. I actually quite like the packaging. Um, I was kind of disappointed because all of their ads shows this like incredible brush. I guess it doesn't come with it, but for some reason I thought that it might be included. Um, so I'm just gonna do like one or two pumps on my brush to show you guys. It's like one, two. And this is the moment of truth, right? Like, I'm not usually one for heavy, heavy foundation. I just like to cover up my like my acne scars and just have like a natural dewy look so as you can see already it just kind of turns out a little bit orange on my skin it's actually looking a lot better maybe that's the trick I just need a little bit more Sun see you can see it's like a little bit off When you stand back, it does have like a nice finish. I will say the foundation is, I love the CoverGirl Skin Milk Foundation for like everyday wear, it's super light. It's like basically a BB cream or like a tinted moisturizer. 
or I love the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. That one is just so, so, so beautiful. Or the YSL, it, what is it, something Touche Clat, I think it's called. That one's also stunning. And then for like drugstore, yeah, the CoverGirl or I think Smashbox. That Smashbox Halo condition, or foundation is really nice too. So I'd say like in terms of formula, this feels a little bit more sticky than say the Armani or the YSL. And you can still see like in my forehead, it's just still quite, you can see that orangey tinge to it. But I will say, since I've gotten a little bit more sun, I'll show you a clip of what the foundation looked up looked like on me in my like winter fair skin here. Versus now, it definitely looks a little bit better. Maybe this will be my summer foundation. I just really hate like wasting product, even though I'm a blogger and I like test a bunch of things, but. That's why I like to like give away stuff if I know, or if I have duplicates or whatever. So I do do giveaways on my Instagram. So if you're ever interested in free product, give me a follow because every so often I give away products to one of my followers. Okay. I'm a little bit more impressed. Okay, let's go near the sunlight because that'll be the true test. What do we think? I think I may be revoking my original thoughts on Il Maquillage. Although the, fo the formula is still a bit more sticky than the Armani or YSL, I would say the coverage is really nice. You guys saw I have quite a bit of acne scarring. I have no concealer on whatsoever. My under eyes look bright. My, for the most part, my acne scarring is covered. It seems even, it looks pretty natural as well. It's like a more full coverage, but it's not, like it didn't take all the pinkiness out of my cheeks or anything. Hmm. And it is also a more affordable option versus Armani. Armani is more in the $80 range, whereas this is more the 50. And it's a no-brainer because you can try it and return it if you don't like it. So maybe I just found my summer foundation. I'm still checking it out. Wow. Okay. This is a plot twist, isn't it? All right. <laughs> so Il Maquillage foundation verdict. I can't say that the quiz is on point because I did do the quiz when I was in my winter skin and it did not match my skin whatsoever. I'll show you guys the reel. In total, I'm gonna show you guys the full reel so you can see it. What can I say, curiosity killed the cat. For years I saw ads for Il Maquillage, a beauty company that matches you with the perfect foundation shade through an online quiz. I bit the bullet and ended up with the shade so woke up like this. I filmed this in natural light with no filter so you guys could see the real results. Immediately, I realized it was not the right shade, it was a little bit too orange, and truthfully didn't blend well either. I really, really wanted to like this, but I didn't. Um, I ended up having to fix my makeup with my own. However, the nice thing is, is that they let you return it and get a full refund if it doesn't match. What can I- So, as you can see, a couple months ago, it really didn't match my skin that well. It seemed a little bit more orangey, but now that I've been in the sun a little bit, I also have been using the Luna Bronze, um, like, good night drops, and it kind of tans your face a little bit. I think that this match is a lot better. So, I wouldn't say the quiz is on point. But the formula is pretty nice. It's like a medium to full coverage. It's a little bit sticky versus the high, high-end stuff. But for a $50 foundation, I think it's pretty nice. And it doesn't, it doesn't feel as light on your skin as the other two have mentioned. The CoverGirl, so inexpensive, bomb. Bomb.com, it's so good. It's so light on your skin. It's just like a really nice daytime foundation. But if you're like going out or going to like happy hour brunch, etc., and you wanna look like a little bit nicer, I would say this is a good option. If you have a bit more budget, still would recommend the Armani or YSL. But I think I've changed my verdict. I don't hate it. Whereas before, as you guys could see, I didn't really, it didn't really, uh, 
didn't really love it or think that it was uh, advertised properly. But maybe I messed up the quiz a little. Hmm. My verdict on Il Maquillage as a whole, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10. If you guys do have a totally different experience with Il Maquillage, let me know in the comments. Maybe I should give the quiz another shot, who knows. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep it on anyways. Last time I wiped it off and had to use a different foundation. But for today, I'm going to keep it on, see how it goes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, check me out on Instagram, and we will see you guys next time. Bye!